this is Wendy Law Chalice. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about how to do a spiccato or a staccato on the cello. Hey, that kind of rhymes. And if you haven't already, please right now go and subscribe and click that little bell button so that you'll be notified of future videos. <laughs> think of as a big cello piece is uh, Elvin Tanz, which I can't really play without really practicing, but you know that piece goes to Anyway, it sounds like crap right now. Whatever. There are other pieces. Tchaikovsky has one. A whole bunch of pieces that requires that. And when you're first learning how to do spiccato on the cello, it takes a minute. I have an opera singer here. First practice with two strings, A string, and then also play A on the D string. Do this. on the bow so that the bow bounces. So you have to find it. I can't tell you exactly where it is. It's definitely not at the frog. It's definitely not at the tip. It's not in the middle either. It's somewhere between the middle and the frog, but maybe two thirds to here. But you have to find your sweet spot. So this is a chance for you to find that sweet spot here. training our body to use mostly our wrist. And then same thing, you can practice on the D and G string. Find that sweet spot. Make sure your bow is bouncing. I think the whole point is that you're not making it bounce, is that you found that sweet spot and it just starts bouncing by itself. I, I do have to say sometimes it requires a certain speed for it to bounce more. If the tempo is too slow, it's not going to bounce as well. It really has to be a certain speed. If it's slow, then it's not going to bounce. It's, and then you just let it, let it rip. Find that sweet spot. It really is that easy. So it's just a matter of trying it out. So for example, in the middle of the Elgar concerto, you don't want it to be bouncy the whole time and the same stroke every note, then it's boring and it's not musical. So so here, when you crescendo, you want to widen your bow. The Elvin Tanz. I tried to widen it, otherwise it just sounds crazy. Like that's just, you want to have your ebbs and flow. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you want to support my work, please check out my visual album, Passion, and you can purchase the album on my website, wendylaw.com, or you can watch the entire uh, series of 12 videos based on love stories with Latin music right here on YouTube. I'll link it right here and also down below. And of course, you can also support my work by being a patron on patreon.com. You can support me as little as one, two dollars, three dollars, all the way to a hundred dollars or more if you like. And there are different perks. You can check it out. Links down below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I would love to hear what other video ideas you may have for me. I'm always looking for new content to create. So leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.